Everyone heard about Morse code, sequences of two different signal durations. Tap code is even simpler, as it has single signal duration and easy to remember codes. Codes are just row and column number in the alphabet written in 5x5 five five table. The only thing to remember is that letter K is represented by C. If you get to scary place, tap code should be easy to remember for an emergency communication. You don't even need a microphone to detect tap codes, you can use accelerometer. Three lines represent different accelerometer axis. Notice peaks when I tap the table. Accelerometer on the robot is sensitive enough to feel tap through rubber feet. To control the robot, I have chosen four letters often used in computer games instead of arrow keys. Tapping turning left command is easiest, just two taps with longer gap in between. Turning right command is a bit more complicated. Unfortunately, when robot is in motion, tapping no longer works, as there is too much noise in accelerometer data. While tap codes are not the most convenient way to control robots, they might be still useful, especially for secretly initiating some actions without anyone understanding that your tapping has any meaning. If you use robotics cape or beaglebone blue board like I do, robot control library supports tap detection out of the box. It can even detect tap direction.